Good morning, and welcome to Godly Play. I hope you've all had a good week. My week was really busy. I don't know if you remember, but a few weeks ago, Miss Helen mentioned that one of the things I do in my job is work on taxes. And this past week was a due date for a lot of tax returns. So I was really busy getting tax returns ready for myself and my family and um, my company, the company that I work for too. They have to file tax returns and we were really busy doing that. I was also really cold all week. I would sit at my desk and just be shivering. What about you? I, I missed those um, warm days we were having a few weeks ago. When I get really cold, when I'm sitting at my desk, I have a special blanket that I put on my lap sometimes, or sometimes I wrap it around myself like this. I was doing that this week too. Now the reason this is a special blanket is because my son David and my daughter-in-law Emily gave it to me. And I'm gonna try and show you this, but it might be a little hard to see. The blanket is in the shape of a wreath. But what makes the shape of the wreath are a lot of words. Let me see if I can get closer and you can see the words. And the words that are used in the blanket are from the book, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Maybe you know that one. It's the one with Scrooge and Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim, the ghosts of Christmas past, present and future. Maybe you've heard that one or you've seen, you've seen movies of it. Well, I'm getting kind of mixed up in my seasons and my holidays now. We're not in the Christmas season. We're still in the Easter season, in the weeks following Easter, and learning about Jesus and his followers and how they got to know Jesus in a new way. So today, we're going to rehear, Miss Helen is going to retell one of the stories from the, the days and weeks after Easter. And this is a story that involves the disciple Thomas. A very important story, because we can probably um, understand how Thomas feels, and we might feel like Thomas did once in a while too. So let's hear the story from Miss Helen. Have a great week coming up. Hope it gets warmer, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> 